Good morning, everyone. All right, I think we're finally working. We've had a few glitches with Facebook this morning. So let me turn you around. Hello, welcome. Um, I'm hoping this is working correctly. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do it all again, but we'll see how we go. So, uh, happy Friday. Welcome to our very first live of 2023. Uh, several weeks in the making. I've been trying to get on and do this or do a live for the last couple of weeks and it just hasn't happened. Um, but I know we're now in February, but I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas and New Year and had a nice little break as well. I know I certainly did. Today, we are looking at Pure Eco's three new colors, their very first color launch for 2023. Um, the stock arrived, I think Wednesday um, and I've been absolutely in love with them since then. Um, they fit within the current range really, really nice. Um, so, a little bit of background on this new range. This range was created as a result of a competition that Pure Eco ran, I think it was November last year, uh, where every product you purchased from a stockist entered you, gave you an entry into their competition. My, my Pure Eco colour is what it's called, uh, well, what the competition was called. And um, if you won, you got to work alongside um, the team at Pure Eco HQ and create your very own Pure Eco colour, which is really, really exciting. Um, and it was amazing to sort of see what everyone came up with and how well the range, these new colours, and it's always like one of those things, well, are they going to come up with something that doesn't fit the range at all? But all three colours fit the range perfectly. They look amazing on our shelves um, and I think they've done a really, really good job. So three new colours. We're going to paint out some samples today as well so you can see them in action. Um, and I'm also going to compare them to other colours in the range as well, just to give you a bit of an idea. Once I've got all of our sample boards painted out, I'll do, um, I'll take a heap of photos. I might even do another video as well, showing you a better representation of the colours. Obviously, when they're in the jars, they're pretty close, but they're not always 100%. So once they're painted out, we can really see that comparison. Um, I will apologise for the sound. We are open. Our doors are open. Um, so, and there's, it's very busy out there today. There's a lot of trucks. So I apologise for the background sound already. All right, so I'm going to pronounce this wrong. I think it's called Saturnine, Sat Saturnine, Sat Saturnine, I think. <laughs> this is the new blue. And this one has been created by Deborah. So these are all available in chalk and silk finish, which I'll talk about in a minute. So this is this really beautiful deep blue. I really, really like this color. This is my favorite of the range. Um, and I can see myself using this. I love blues, so it's definitely a color that I'm going to use pretty soon, I think. So available in 600 jars and 200. So 200 will get you um, a set of bed sides. 600 you'll get a sideboard or two out of just to give you an idea of coverage as well which we will see in a minute as well um, I'm pretty sure these are all on um, the bases that give us really good coverage as well there's no ultra clear bases or anything like that so our coverage is going to be um, really really good our next color is called serenity by Christine and it's this really beautiful green. Now this one, and I'll show you in a second, very, very similar to two of the greens we already have in the range, but I think it, show, it throws a little bit more blue, which is nice. Our last color is Sandbar by Brianna. And this is a really, really nice color. I was worried it was gonna be too close to Dandelion, which we already have in the range, but I'm very pleasantly surprised. So I'm just going to show you a rough representation of the colours. This one is Dandelion, which is already in the range. And this one is what Summer is what I picked up. So Summer and Dandelion. This is Summer, that's Dandelion. And this is the new Sandbar. Just to give you an idea of the colour differences there. So I think Sandbar is a really nice peachy colour. It's got a little bit of yellow orange to it as well. So I think it's a nice match with these two. I think these three blended together would be beautiful. And I think you could easily add 
What's my other colour that I'm thinking? So sunset. Forgot to grab it. Oop. Some sunset into that colour palette as well. I think would be really, really lovely. So that's sandbar. Let me put them down without throwing them away. All right, let's have a look at Serenity. Now, very close to meadow and pistachio in the range. This is meadow. This one here, that's pistachio. So you can see they're quite close. We have the third. In the jars, they look almost identical. I think once we've got these ones swatched out and painted out on our boards, we're going to see that difference. Um, I know you definitely can between meadow and pistachio. Oh, hang on. Meadow and pistachio as well. So that's Serenity on the top. Meadow is this one. And this one here is pistachio. So very, very similar. But I think it's a nice addition. And then our last colour. It's nice and easy when there's only three, I will say. Normally, I think our last one was like 12 colours. Um, all right, our last colour. Satinine. Somebody can correct me. Somebody will know. Satinine. Right, I think this is very close to Peacock. So that's Peacock, that's Satinine. But it's a little bit more blue. Peacock can throw some green. We've got Denim. So that's Denim, Peacock, Satinine. That's what I'm calling it now. <laughs> and then we've got some inkwell as well. So you can sort of see. So that's denim, peacocks at the bottom, inkwell's this one, and this one's the new colour set. I feel like I'm saying it really, really wrong and it's not making sense in my head. Saturnine. Saturnine. I think that's it. Somebody can tell me what it actually is. So really, really nice colours. I definitely feel like it's very close to peacock. But we'll definitely see that difference when we paint it out. Um, blues always paint out differently as well than what they show in the jar. Um, the pigments always show quite differently in the jar. So let me move these out of the road to down there because I've run out of bench space. It's a bit chaotic, chaotic here this morning. Who am I missing? You. Right. So. I've got these boards. Uh, these are just plain MDF. I have, I've got like a hundred plus of them. I brought these off Marketplace um, ages ago. And these are what I've been using here in the studio to create our little, let me just grab one, our little sample boards here in the studio because it's really good. We've got a brick and mortar. Um, it's really good for customers to come in and be able to see the colors painted out. Um, and then if you ever need to um, see the colours side by side and you're trying to decide between two, send us a message because I can send you through photos of those specific colours as well. So we've got chalk finish and silk finish. We're going to paint out the chalk finish today of the three new colours. And uh, Pure Eco are amazing. They send us little samples of the new colours. Um, different jars to normal but it will be fine for what we're after. So I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see the colour being painted out in real time. Um, because our jars are tiny, we are using small brushes. Not ideal, but it's what it is. We're using the size 20 from the Montmartre series. I do really, really like these brushes and they do um, go really well with this paint. So let me tilt the camera down for a second so you can see what we're working with. And I'm going to paint out the silk on the other side of these boards um, later today and I'm going to film it up close um, and then post that on our Facebook and Instagram and our YouTube and then pop, pop it up on the website as well so you can see the colours. Alright, so my nemesis, because I still can't pronounce it, Satinine is what we're going with first, if I can open it. I should have thought about that first actually. <laughs> Maybe we're not opening it first. <laughs> Oh, no, hang up, we can open it, it's all right. These jars leaked a little bit, so we're a bit. Oh, there we go. Really, really beautiful blue. Let's get all out. These pots are a bit dusty, they've been hanging out the back. All right, so I'm just using a dry brush, um, and this is in the chalk, okay? So chalk pretty much always has better coverage than silk to begin with anyway, but we'll certainly see later when I do the silk on the other side of the board, 
what the coverage difference is like as well, which I'm always interested in doing all the colors in the range. Sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised um, by silk, but I always, always love chalk. So the biggest difference between the two ranges is chalk must be sealed. It's not optional. Chalk has to be sealed. It is a porous paint. Uh, whereas silk finish has the built-in top coat. Um, you can put a further top coat or a wax over silk finish if you want to, but you're only doing that for aesthetic. You're not really going to get um, anything else out of doing that other than changing the sheen of the paint or the finish overall. So incredible coverage. This is raw MDF. It's not primed with anything. Um, Ideally, I would prefer it to be at the very least sealed, um, even just with a clear top coat, just to stop my paint from soaking in as much as what it is. But this will do the job nonetheless. So these paints are all available in store and online, and I am shipping them from today. We are now allowed to ship them, so I'm excited to get them out to you. We've already had a couple of orders, so thank you so much. And we are shipping as normal. Uh, shipping is free on orders over 75 and then um, where was that sentence going or flat rate for orders under uh, it's only ten dollars postage under uh, and we post with Australia post as well so you can already see it's already drying but really really pretty color now chalk does dry very, very matte and that's when we come in with a wax or with a top coat and that's when we get our bit of shine. I do really love the chalk range. Um, chalk is fantastic for those of us that are really wanting to explore and get a bit creative. Silk is great for those of you who just wanna do that quick flip, um, just wanna get the paint on and walk away. Uh, whereas chalk, for those of us who like to get really creative, I really, really love chalk. In saying that, you can do with silk what you do with chalk. You can blend and layer and do all those fun things as well. All right, so that's satinine. I am, oh, stick my finger in it. Um, I'm probably still saying that incorrect. Somebody will correct me if I am. All right, and I'll show you that again when we're finished because I reckon that will be dry in a second. All right, new brush, new color. Let's go in with Sandbar. I'm really excited to see what this color actually paints like um, and what the color's like. I can definitely see myself using this color. I'll use this color as a complementary color to other colors that I'm using in the range, like I showed you before. Um, I wouldn't necessarily paint an entire piece in this color. For me here locally, it wouldn't sell. Again, in silk, uh, sorry, in chalk. Um, yeah, so a piece painted entirely in this colour here most likely would not sell. Um, our market here is very, very different. A little bit bland at times as well. And colours don't always do well, particularly colours that are that little bit more out there. However, I would certainly use this as an accent. It's very similar to my backboard, which isn't helping you guys at all but I might pop it on a white sheet of paper in a minute so you can really see that color. I'm even having trouble seeing what I've covered and what I haven't here. Again, this board's raw and it is soaking it in quite a lot. Chalk finish is always gonna soak in a lot more to a raw board than what silk will. Silk you will find would just glide over this as well, which you'll see when I post that video a bit later today. I won't do it as a live because I do wanna get the camera in just the right spot up close so that I can and and the high quality as well unfortunately Facebook really does dim the quality which is very frustrating right. I do really like this color these might even be dry enough that we can show you a comparison against the other colors that I showed you before brushed out as well they're brush outs As I said, it's drying really fast. I don't want to brush over it too much because I can feel it lifting. But that is sandbar. Really, really pretty. Let me find somewhere to sit that one. Evidently, I need to clean my desk today. Uh, 
Now, our last colour is Serenity, which is this beautiful green. Get the dust off our board. Try and get the jar open would be helpful. Oh, goodness. Yes, LG, I'm not a fan of the jars. <laughs> I'm very grateful for the samples, but not a fan of the jars at all. <laughs> They're definitely difficult. All right, another clean brush. Again, nice and dry. These are a really good size brush. Not quite a full inch across. Um, but I do really like these brushes. We use these brushes in all of our paint and sips. Um, and I use these brushes a lot when I'm doing little touch-ups as well. Really, really pretty colour. It's definitely got a little bit more blue to it than what Meadow and Pistachio do. I can see that. I'm not sure how well you can see that in the camera. I think you can see it well enough. But really, oh, there's a lot of paint just there. Really, really pretty color. And as I said, I think these all fit within the range really well. Pure Eco have done a really good job creating their range of really nice colors that suit the Australia, the Australian market um, so that we can paint pieces in them and they sell really well um, but also fit within our lifestyle quite well as well get our board nicely covered again it is soaking in it does that probably not a great representation of how it paints overall on a regular piece but it's good representation of the coverage as well just smooth that out a little bit and there is serenity so really really pretty and i'll just show you oops make sure i put the lid on otherwise i'm gonna Fill it. I just want to show you satinine again so you can get an idea of blues. So blues in chalk um, really they dry this ultra matte colour but when I seal it it's going to go a lot darker like this as well. I'll just show you in a different colour as well. So this is my little, I really need to redo this, it's a bit tacky but this is my little board that I show you the difference of the chalk paint and then the silk finish. This is the same colour in both. This is Peacock, which is one of the colours that I compared before with the satinine. So Peacock in uh, chalk dries very, very light. Whereas in the silk, obviously the silk's already got that built-in top coat. That is the final colour. Now, with the silk, you can put a top coat over it if you want. You can see it is darkened again. With chalk, if you use a wax or an oil, so the liquid wax, the beeswax, um, or the hemp finishing oil, it's going to go a lot darker because that product is soaking into the paint. So you're going to get this really dark, rich colour. Whereas a top coat, they sit on top. You will, it will go darker as you can see, but it sits on top. So when this board's nice and dry, I will do a little corner of it with a wax on it as well so that customers can see the true colour. But if you're ever really just looking, you want even if you want to use chalk and you're really looking for that true colour, have a look at it in silk. Normally, that shows a better representation of the colour as well. All right, so that's all I've got for you today. They are all looking fabulous. As I said, these are all available now um, on our website. Let me tilt you back up. Um, these are all available on our website, thepaintbrush.com.au. The link's in the description. Um, you will find them under... Pure Eco 2023 release in the menu. Um, I've popped them all together for you in chalk and silk, all in the one spot so that you can find them and look at them easily. Um, apart from that, beautiful colours. I will get up another video later today showing um, them all painted in silk finish for you. And I think that's it. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm here until 2.30 today for all of our locals. Um, and then we're here 10 to 1 tomorrow as well. I do have them in store. I now have them painted out as well. So you can come in and see them for yourself as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, I'm hoping to be back with our regular lives every Friday. 
is the aim. Otherwise, they'll be Saturday mornings. My husband's work schedule's changed, so I will let you know. But hopefully back to a lot more regular than what I have been. Um, it's been a pretty chaotic last four or five months. So thank you all for your patience. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.